Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So it is a uh, Saturday, August 7th, and the cicadas are out in full force. So we took us uh, a week or two off shooting video, been uh, bottling honey, uh, working on chicken brooder, getting chicks uh, outdoors, and I just moved them today and uh, just doing a lot of odds and ends around the house uh, other than beekeeping. And my dad's been coming over uh, three Wednesdays in a row and he's been mowing for me. So thanks to my dad, uh, that, that gave me a lot of time to go do other stuff, uh, like harvest honey, bottle honey, and all this other stuff. But uh, so we haven't been in the hives in a while. I did come down last night and I put on three quarts of feed into some of my uh, smaller hives uh, that do need it. So we're in big time dearth right now. Uh, so you have to be very careful. There's no additives in the sugar water. It's just 50-50, straight 50-50. There's no pro-health in it. Uh, that would incite uh, robbing big time this time of year. And uh, so new beekeepers, this is the time of year. Uh, I know a lot of people watch a lot of videos and they see other beekeepers, they're real cool and they, they don't do inspections with uh, anything on, right? They may have a veil or, you know, no gloves, stuff like that. So this is the time of year your bees are hanging around and they're just, they don't have anything to do. Uh, there's nothing out there for them to forage. They're not in a good mood and they're just sitting around talking about how they would love to sting you. <laughs> so they don't care if they die, they just want to sting somebody. So they're grumpy right now. Uh, going into a strong hive this time of year, man, have your gear on. I'm just, just a public service announcement there. Uh, it may be cool to go in there without your gear on, but uh, watch out this time of year. This is the time of year, the uh, temperament of your hive, it's like Jekyll and Hyde. So watch out, fair warning. Uh, today, I'm gonna get into Hive 1, which Hive 1, you remember, was a uh, laying worker hive. We did the single screen combine. Uh, I had a, another queen from a split I went and put in there, and uh, we pulled the screen out after two, three weeks, and they combined and was doing fine. She was laying, had a decent pattern, and I even had a honey super on it. And when we harvested, uh, there wasn't hardly any activity on the front so when i got done pulling all my honey supers uh it may have been that evening or the next day i went and i i popped that thing open actually i think i did it i did it while i was pulling supers because i wanted to make sure anyway uh there was no queen in there and hardly any bees and i was lucky i got in there before uh the wax moss just ruined it uh there was a few starting but it was okay and i moved the two uh deep bodies onto some of my singles that were ready some of the wildflower meadows uh, queens and other splits so they were ready for a second deep and i just expanded those uh, actually it was a little early but hopefully they took care of those and i have that comb protected so another thing that happened while i was pulling my honey off this little swarm showed up uh it was on a Wednesday because my dad was here mowing and the mower ran out of gas and I walked down here right after work to, with the gas can to take the mower back and a swarm came out on the south side or the north side. So as much as I love swarms, I was like, I don't have time for this. So anyway, <clears throat> it, it was in the exact same tree that I got the double swarm out of, the very first one. So I climbed up there, got that swarm, boxed it up in a nuke, and it's in number one now. Uh, boy, that was a long story. So anyway, I can't say long story short because that was long. So we're going to get in hive one, and it's a tiny swarm, and uh, going to check it out. I had a queen in there in a clip, and I left her in the clip for two days, and then I released her. And I've been watching them. They've been doing okay. And that's one that I put a cord on, and they've had... Uh, two quarts of feed so far in this this last quart they've got uh, there's a little bit left in that so let's get in there and see if that queen is mated and laying or what's going on in there let's get started okay here's hive one and our tiny swarm of 2021 some people call these suicide swarms because they're late in the year 
and chances of survival are not good. Why they swarm, who knows. Uh, they may have a high varroa count. Uh, they may have got honey bound. There's no telling. <clears throat> so we still got a little bit of syrup left here. So this time of year, like I was saying, be careful. Uh, you don't want to spill this around your hive. Be real careful with it. Get those little drops off. And I'm gonna set it over here. So when you lift it up, a little bit spills out. You can see them bees there sucking it up. See, you don't want that to drip out on your lid because uh, other bees will see that and go for it. And next thing you know, it'll be like a swarm over this little nuke and they'll be trying to defend themselves and they're no match for a, a big hive like one of these. And we got a couple high beetles up here we'll take care of. I saw one more he must have got away. So there's a decent amount of bees in here it appears. Got pretty good numbers in there. So this queen, I uh, don't know if she was a virgin queen, like a calf swarm, or if she was the main queen that uh, decided she was uh, done and needed to leave. So don't know if it needed she needed made it or what. We should find out now what's going on. So here is a shiny. So the uh, court feed that I put on, they've stored it all right in here. So they're doing good as far as uh, not starving out. In fact, I could maybe give them another frame of comb right now. Let's see what, what it looks like though. Hopefully we find a nice little brood pattern in here. And uh, this is mostly nectar. I don't see any uh, eggs or larva there. And I see our queen right there. She looks to be mated now. Yeah, she's laying all up in here. So there she is. She's a decent looking queen. She's bigger now than when I saw her first. Let's see if I can get some light in here and see the eggs or the larva. white larva all on that area there. See what the next frame looks like. So hey that's good news. That's uh, the best we could have hoped for. And they're actually drawing down some comb on that. I don't know if you saw. Let me show you real quick. They've actually made that right there. That's and some of that. So that's one thing swarms will do, they'll uh, draw comb out. But this time of year, there's nothing for them to draw with. There's no nectar flow. So they're doing that with the 50-50 uh, sugar water. And I believe she's laid on here. Yeah, she's just started laying right in here. So uh, I do need to get them another frame so they won't put that nectar in uh, where she needs to be laying. And this, uh, they're putting nectar in there. And that side's basically empty. They're probably good for a little while as far as uh, 
space. Once uh, the brood that she's laying, those larvae, so they'll they'll hatch out in about uh, 15 days or so. They'll be emerging because it's 21 days for a worker, and I'm just estimating how long they've been there already. Once they start emerging, then we'll need probably need to start looking at adding more space because uh, there'll be more bees. Let them finish that off. I won't give them any more for a while. Okay, yeah, so this tiny swarm is doing as good as it can be expected, uh, no bigger than it was. Uh, I haven't added anything to them. Queen's laying. Uh, so we've got most of August, September, October to get them built up. So I'm not gonna add brood to them. I'm just gonna let this queen go, see how she does. Keep giving her frames as she needs them. I've got some drawn combs still I can give them and uh, just keep building them up and we may overwinter this in, in a single deep. Uh, more than likely that's what we'll do. Uh, that, that will be what we will attempt. So that's the end of the video. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out and we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.